NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Walked out across the uh, NBC5 parking lot this afternoon. Almost landed on my head. Oh no. I did too, and that yeah, was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So the shadows you got to be yeah. careful of. And um, tomorrow I think it's a bad hair day. We've got some, some wind. It's bad for you. Yeah. Well, that's why we have hair dryers in here. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we've got wind, we've got rain, and even a little snow. We'll take a look at what's going on right now. That's the National Life Camera looking at the State House. Looks kind of cold. A little bit of snow there on the ground. Temperature 29. Could be worse, I guess. There's not much wind right now, but we've got a lot of windy days in the forecast. I think tomorrow, Friday, and probably Sunday. Sunday could be really windy, so it's just the time of year. And because it's cold now, some slick areas tonight, but mostly plain rain tomorrow. It's just one of those situations where this cold is kind of stuck first thing. There's not much rain or snow over us right now. There's none actually, but off to the west there you can see it's starting to move in from the Great Lakes. Not a big system, but just enough to cause a few issues. I think tomorrow morning you can see it's 21 in Lake, uh, Lake Placid right now, 22 in Malone. So it'll take a while for this cold air to leave. Not as cold in Burlington, so the lower elevations, Champlain Valley, Upper Valley especially, not thinking it's much of a concern, probably just goes over to rain easily. Maybe some flakes in the air, but you see it's this initial burst about four o'clock tomorrow morning that causes any of the issues that we might have. A little bit of a break at eight in the morning and then the rain, plain rain, uh, even at the summits, say Jay and Stowe as we go through uh, the afternoon hours tomorrow. But then it turns colder and there's mountain snow. So probably any snow that's lost high up is replaced by the mountain snow as we go into Thursday night and Friday. It's a very short burst of mountain snow because the sun is quick to return on Friday. So even though it's breezy and colder on Friday, the sunshine will be quite nice. And by Saturday, we're right back to the clouds and snow showers. Looks like another little system coming through Saturday. So either snow showers or a period of light snow, but certainly nothing big. But this is the wind forecast for tomorrow. As we warm up, it is the south wind that helps us warm up, but it's strong 30 to 40 miles an hour with that rain coming through during the day. And then on Friday morning and Friday the whole day, it's the northwest wind that cools us off and brings some of that mountain snow early in the day. So kind of an interesting temperature trend. We've got the 40s tomorrow and then the 40s on Monday, but then the weekend is cold. I think it's sort of a struggle to get to even freezing on Saturday and Sunday. So cold initially tonight. That's why there's a little bit of snow on the front end of that. Could be some slick spots first thing, but all the way up into the 40s, just about all of us here in northern Vermont getting into the 40s. And across the Tri Lakes, we're talking about a 39 in Lake Placid and for southern Vermont, a 50 in Brattleboro where it's all rain. So the sunshine is back on Friday, especially Friday afternoon. Just a little snow on Saturday, not a big deal. And Sunday turns brighter, but could be gusty wind again, especially later Sunday. And then when we get into Monday, that too looking like a wintry mix, Stu.